everybody. Welcome. Uh, I'm going to be cooking a little steak for you today, and, uh, and uh, today's message is you can make any steak, even a cheapo, taste great. Welcome to Cooking with Steak! <laughs> Today's piece of beef is a sirloin cheapo Fred Meyer. Nothing good, just standard, boneless, straight cut. We're gonna see what we can do to this thing and see how good we can make it. Watch and learn. As we wanna take this stabber, we're going to inject it several times. That way, when we put our rubs in it, we can season right up into the middle of this thing. Evenly shake it over the whole steak. Now remember we put those holes in there. So we rub it in, get it in those holes. We'll do the other side, salt that. Don't be afraid to, that you're gonna over salt it because it's a lot of beef. It's a mixture of black pepper and barbecue seasoning. That's gonna go on our steak. Just wanna. Now notice that I'm only going to put this on half, one part, just on this part of the steak. If you don't have a gas powered grill, then this is basically showing you how you can make good steaks right at home. So we're gonna put a little bit of oil. Just. A little bit of we're ready to put our steak in but we have our um, side that we put our seasoning on remember this side just has salt so what we're going we want to do is we want to put the seasoned side down first and you never want to just stick it to throw it in there you want to and this is a good re this is a reason why to get why it's good to get a bigger pan but all right so we're gonna we're aiming for a medium rare, but if you don't have a gas powered grill, it's kind of just you just have to use your own judgment. So I like to do about a minute to two minutes and then flip it over. So it's, it's about time to flip it over. Here. That is a beauty. That is a beauty. So we're gonna, we're a little low on vegetables today, so we're gonna slice up a couple of these pickles to go on the side. We're gonna put some of this on the side, just in case you want to dip your steak in it. Just gonna drizzle a little bit on the side there. We are ready to serve. the extra grease and sauce right over the top of that sucker. Now we want to let that steak sit for about a minute before we cut into it. Alright, so it's sat long enough. We're ready to cut into this thing and see if my judgment of medium rare is correct. Definitely not a perfect medium rare, but the flavor is what counts. You can get a medium rare when the flavor is not good, and you can get a medium like this is, and it could be perfect. Here's the cooking with steak. All the right seasons. Flavor is brilliant. All right, so let's go over a recap real quick. You stab it, you salt it, you pepper it. I use 
barbecue, but you can use whatever you want. You cook it and you just gotta judge, use your judgment. I actually overcooked it a little, but the flavor is perfect. So, until next time, thank you for joining me. This has been episode one of Cooking with Steak.